Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron Four Führer Reich, playing as the Deutsches Reich, currently engaged in a war against Britain and Japan. We were able to take out Britain proper, but of course they fled to Canada, which, you know, considering this was written supposedly from the perspective of a Kaiserreich person, this makes a little bit of sense, right? It's like it comes full circle. Of course, no matter what in which universe, the uh, British monarchy always flees to Canada. Such is the idea. So we are transferring some troops up here into Greenland with the intention of landing in Newfoundland and trying to make a push up over here. I think I might also go for a quick little war against Norway, just because like they're the only people in um, uh, Europe proper up over here, or at least in Scandinavia, I guess Ireland technically, but they're not a part of the, uh, what are they, what are we called? The Stahlpacht, so... I feel like we should take them out a little bit, you know? We, should just, we shouldn't allow some communists in Norway to hang out over there. That's ridiculous. In the meantime, we are bombing the ever-loving crud out of Japan, getting some troops in position over here with the goal of possibly going for a large naval invasion at least sometime relatively soon. So we'll go for that in a bit. In the meantime, let's go ahead and push the Japanese out of this. We have a lot of scout planes over Japan, which tells me kind of right now exactly where they are. And it makes me think that landing up over here, close to Tokyo, or at least by some port over in this direction, is completely feasible. All we need is a port where I can establish my army. That's all I care about, and then we can just go ahead and just wipe the floor with them. That does mean I need to get a navy down over in this direction, though. Um, let's see, right now we're primarily guarding everything around Britain, and that's no longer really relevant, is it? No, we don't care about that. My question then is, can I possibly establish myself around the Sea of Japan? Maybe. Um, first thing, let's see if we can actually get our fleet to somehow get up to, let's say, the ba Bering Strait for now. Some place where it's relatively safe. Or maybe not, if, if not here. Where else do I have holdings? Oh, they took everything in Southeast Asia, didn't they? Well, that's awkward. Um... Can I even get a navy to Japan? It's occurring to me that may be very difficult. Well, let's let's see if we can find a way to get up into the Yellow Sea. Same with these guys, honestly. I'm gonna need all the fleets, I think. Yeah, all, all, all of the fleets need to be getting up over here so that we can possibly find a way to land a naval invasion in Japan. In the meantime, how are we doing down in places like Africa? Well, I got a lot of troops that are now flooding into the area, which is gonna be causing a lot of supply issues, but it's not like I'm hurting for any particular supplies or logistics. We're looking pretty darn good. I know it says we don't have enough self-propelled artillery, but that's because in between videos, I decided to go ahead and start training up a lot more 30 width Panzer divisions. On the off chance, I decide that I wanna to go to war against, let's say, the United States or something, which I may or may not want to do. I haven't really decided. It just kinda of depends on how I'm feeling it, you know? Kinda of depends. So is the Navy even going to be able to arrive? These are the questions we ask. Um, it looks like, yes, they are traveling all the way down here. I was worried they may not be able to pass through the Bay of Bengal or the uh, Eastern Indian Ocean, but it looks like they're gonna be able to find their way. Okay, so the range is gonna work out. That means I should not need to go for paratroopers after all. Okay, good, very good, actually. That's, that's fantastic, because I really didn't want to have to bother with all of that. So that does mean I'm gonna to need to get myself a lot of naval bombers, ideally, over in this area, which I should be building quite a few at this point. There's all the wrong kinds of bombers. God, I still, okay, is there, someone tell me, is there actually like a better way to sort fighter types and stuff? Because this has always bugged the frick out of me. It's always struck me as a really, really inefficient way of trying to find a particular plane class when you've got so many garbage planes mucking up your list. Am I crazy? I see no naval bombers. None whatsoever. We have some in spare, right? Oh, no, we don't. Oh, well, that might be part of the problem. We have no naval bombers. Right, I've used all of them up. Well, I did assign a few more factories down this direction to work on that, so maybe we'll start getting some more. Maybe, I don't know, but okay. It, it, naval bombers would be good, but worse come to worse if I have a lot of tactical bombers. I just I just need air superiority. Gimli. Over the oceans in order to make sure that my navy is safe while we go for a uh, naval invasion. That is the goal. Why is he borking? Gimli! Oi! Stop! Stop! 
I don't know. He, he sometimes just gets a little bit excitable, if you know what I mean. Just a little bit on the excitable side. Anyway. Alright, so we managed to clear out all of the Japanese off in this direction. So the only thing left at this point is their little islands. And by little islands, I mean like the entirety of their full islands. Let's go ahead and move you guys down over this direction. Again, I'll spread them out for the sake of some supply. But uh, let's just get them in position so I can quickly do a naval invasion from Korea to, I don't know, Kanazawa? Maybe. Somewhere up over there could be good. Hey, new planes! These are the heavy fighters I have been talking about. Let's go ahead and start working on some of those. Uh, as far as some factories, we'll go ahead and assign a bunch off in that direction. I should be repairing a lot of factories, but I may not have as many as I would like. So since I've got a ridiculous number of civilian factories with, at the moment, nothing to do, let's go ahead and just start building a whole bunch more. I need more planes, I need more bombers, I need more heavy fighters, I need everything. So let's build everything. Because, you know, when in doubt, a shotgun approach is pretty efficient. Gimli! Gimli! Give me one second, I gotta figure out what he's up to. What a silly, silly boy. Honestly, I think he makes this stuff up sometimes. I think he just doesn't want me to be here on the computer, so he makes up things to try and get my attention. He really has not been liking Hoi 4 as of late. Actually, it's not even just Hoi 4. There's one other thing that I've had him react like this to, and it's Elden Ring. Boy hates it when I play Elden Ring for some reason. Couldn't tell you why, it's just sort of how it go. Um, it looks to me like the Japanese are actively trying to sink some of my subs that have arrived a little bit early. Well, that's rude. Okay, you know what that means? It means I sent a whole bunch of fighters over there. They found me, apparently. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can send another thousand fighters. Perfect. Perfect. Do a thousand fighters for air superiority over the Yellow Sea. We'll contest this, dang it. Subs are actually surprisingly vulnerable to um, various different forms of bombers very vulnerable, so uh, yeah, I don't want to lose any of these if I don't have to. Oh, that's right, yeah, you send all those scout planes and everything else. That's not gonna last well for you, what are you thinking? All right, so the rest of the Navy is still on the way, we'll be fine over there, how are we doing in Africa? Uh, not great, for some reason these guys just really don't want to maintain any sort of an offensive line. And I gotta say, I'm getting very annoyed that Yellow is doing literally nothing. They're not obeying me. And when people don't obey me and meet my expectations, I tend to get irrationally angry. So freaking die, every single one of you. Whatever, it's fine. They'll push through all this, we'll clear out Africa. It looks to me like Iran is having some fun dealing with uh, Arabia. So is Turkey, by the way. So they're all doing all right down over here. And they should be able to hold people off in the British Raj. I really don't feel like I've got anything to worry about on that front. So we'll be okay. I'm preparing good collaboration governments over here with the Japanese. So if we take a look at our current wars, I'm envisioning we've got a lot, that's the wrong war, envisioning we've got a pretty good amount of collaboration. Only 20%, really. I think we finished that uh, twice now, two separate missions, and it's only gone up to 20? That's not as good as I would have expected, if I'm completely honest with you. Not nearly as good as I would have expected, but okay. Whatever. I'm also building up some spy networks in the United States, with the expectation that at some point soon, I might wish that I had the ability to go ahead and just get some collaboration governments with them as well. Uh, are we stuck? Okay, so my fleets can't reach this far after all, it turns out. They have the movement command, but they can't actually arrive. Well, that's awkward as heck. So are you telling me that I don't have the naval range to actually do any of this now? Is that what's going on? Do I need to use my subs and air superiority only in order to get the naval dominance I need and actually get through the Sea of Japan. That's that's the message I'm taking out of it, and it makes me very upset, because subs are not exactly the best at escorting and will have no shore bombardment. But okay, you know what? With just raw air superiority, maybe we can still take down Japan. Let's go ahead and launch a naval invasion up over here. As far as I'm aware, there aren't a lot of troops defending this. I don't know how much I trust my scout planes to be accurate, but they had some troops guarding this naval base. They seem to have pulled them off. If I'm fast, we can get this and then entrench ourselves in northern Japan and Ainu, where we can, uh, or no, Hokkaido. For, uh, Ainu is like EU4, sorry. No, uh, Hokkaido up over here, hold on to all of this, and then maybe just maybe we can entrench ourselves and really take these guys down. I'm not sure, but the most important thing to go for is just straight out speed. So we're gonna do this, push up over here, go like this, 
And now, with this foothold, if I can have this port, which it looks like I can, then we should be able to prevent these guys from kicking me out anytime soon. At least I hope. And now I can transfer troops over with impunity. So this is the kind of foothold I'm looking for. I've taken over Hokkaido before and had a lot of trouble with this straight. Taking on this area so I don't have to worry about a straight crossing penalty, in and of itself is actually kind of huge. Uh, now they'll probably start pulling a bunch of troops off of the south in order to try and fight me up over here. Maybe they'll do that. But if I'm completely honest, do I care? No, because if they do that, then I will just launch a naval invasion from the south and we'll attack them from two different directions. And then they'll really be in a lot of trouble now, won't they? You better believe they will be. Let's go ahead and send a handful more troops over here. How are we doing as far as supply? Uh, struggling, but that's probably because we haven't yet got the supply hub under control. And it says we have no connection to the capital. I don't see how that could be true. It says that though, interesting. Um, hmm. Hey, one of you stop them from sending in reinforcements. You guys come down over here, you guys help over here. There we go, I just wanna kick them out of this area because this lets me control a little bit more of a local victory point for a few extra uh, local supplies, which should make it easier to sustain some of my troops in this area. And then I don't know how good the Japanese army really is. I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much of anything, if I'm honest, we're gonna find out. Uh, what's your stat lineup? Not great, your soft attack is garbage. You have nowhere near enough air superiority. Your supply is lower than mine. You couldn't entrench either, okay. Uh, we no longer need to have all these planes over here. We can go ahead and move them like this. And in fact, maybe, just maybe, I can send at least a handful of these guys. Let's say at least a handful of fighters plus some close air support and bombers more locally, so it's all guaranteed to be within range. This is how we start inflicting some serious damage, and now I've got close air support on top of everything else. So it sucks to be you guys, you're in a lot of trouble now. Yep, yep, he's starting to move some troops over this direction, not surprising, leaving a few areas more open than they were before. If I can get down toward Tokyo and grab another one of these ports, that would be great. But as a backup, let's go ahead and start manufacturing another maximum level naval base. It'll take a little while for this to get built up, but we can at least try. If I can get over here and grab another local victory point, that's some more local supply we can send somewhere. And then maybe I just go ahead and start up another little front line like this and tell these guys to go ahead and push. Cause I don't think they've got much here in Hokkaido. They've clearly got no supply. So this should be pretty easy pickings on my end, I believe. And these aren't even my good troops. These are like mostly defensively oriented, right? Yeah, these aren't even my offensive troops, but here we go, absolutely crushing it. I like what I'm seeing, okay? That's all I can say. I like what I am seeing. Um, it's 1944. We could go for the modern tank chassis. It's a bit ahead of time. I don't feel like I'd benefit a ton from that, to be honest, though. I got the maximum uh, artillery. I haven't even tossed any anti-air onto any of my uh, troops, by the way. I've been building it for forever, but I've done absolutely nothing with it, which I find just hilarious. Hey, can we go for another upgrade to naval transports? Oh yes, we can. Let's go ahead and start building some of that up. And actually, let's go ahead and send the entire Red Army, with the exception, hang on, of you guys. Go ahead and continue what you've been doing. You're doing fine, and I'm proud of you, moi. There we go. And we should be able to crush all of this. Lots of reinforcements coming over here, and as long as the supplies are panning out, and for the most part they are, we have a connection to the capital now, um, we're fine. We can support a lot more troops, in fact. This is gonna be easy. Do I wanna go for an invasion in the south? I'm not sure I need to. If I'm completely frank, I don't think I need to do that at all. I think I can just go ahead and send another chunk of troops off in this direction. But just as a backup, Let's go ahead and plan out a handful of naval invasions, let's say down over here. Where do you have a port? Over this direction? I don't wanna to have to travel through multiple sea zones if I can avoid it. Nagasaki would be one option. I suppose we could try to launch out of here. No, no, I don't have any naval ports that way. All right, we're gonna to try to land up around over here and see if we can take this port. And maybe this will work for me. Looks like we are able to get into Tokyo, so that falls, so say goodbye to that. Still working on those war justifications in Norway, by the way, but it appears to be somewhat broken. Upgrades for fighters. You know, I do happen to have a lot of experience, so let's increase some of that range reliability. Extra weapons doesn't excite me as much as the agility, but we can toss a little bit on there. Sure, very reliable planes with good range. 
Seems reasonable. This is gonna be an exceptionally good fighter. It's gonna cost me pretty much all of my air experience, but it's gonna be ridiculously good, at least until I get to the point where I have jet fighters. Which admittedly may not be for mm, at least a while. Um, do I want to go ahead and launch the naval invasion? Honestly, yeah, let's just go ahead and launch the naval invasion. I got subs for escorts. I'm sure that'll be fine. If they were missile subs, I'd say, sure, this is going to be great. But they're not, so I'm a little bit less uh, comfortable with it. But let's just see if we can land over here and grab ourselves another port. Looks like our landing is so far going completely fine. Then we just go ahead and use these guys to reinforce on both directions, and boom. There we go. I'm in your base, Japan! I'm in your base, killing your dudes! They can't do anything, this is gonna be it. All I have to do now, actually, is use you and push across here where they've got no reinfor- And there we go, we've just encircled all of these guys, too. <laughs> oh, this gonna be easy! All right, I was really worried this was gonna devolve into paratrooper time. I'm really glad to see that that is not the case because paratrooper time is not fun time for someone who has yet to research a single level of paratroopers. Okay? Unsurprisingly, but it wouldn't be very fun. Hey, let's go ahead and march through all this and just go ahead and finish off the Japanese in this area. Gonna be completely fine. How long until I can take on Norway, by the way? Oh, only another week or so? Oh, perfect. I am trying desperately to build some much needed supply up here in um, Sweden, and we are getting some supply hubs built up. It's gonna be a little while, though. If we wait a month, I'll have enough supply that my tanks can actually do something. I think I might, I might prefer that. Hey, have I changed? I have not. Let's go ahead and swap all of my armies to use motorized to deliver supply. I've got plenty of motorized to go around for that purpose, so that really shouldn't be an issue. And it should help at least a tiny little bit in getting me the supply that I need. My war goal does not expire until May. So I got some time to work with over here. This is gonna be completely fine and dandy. Hey, kill off these guys, please. You guys all kill off these guys, please. Thank you. Should be able to finish that. Hey, you clear out this pocket. Thank you. And we've pushed all the way over here. Uh, this is, in fact, a straight, so we can cross that, and we will. Japan, you can't have much left, can you? There can't be a lot left going on for these guys. They must be almost done. Um, all right, so purple should all be going over here. And red, you need a new front line. We're gonna move all of you guys down here, and that's another 20 divisions that can go for the kill. Perfect, all right. All right, all right, all right. So with this all getting taken care of, I'll finish off Norway, then I have to go for the Grand Naval Invasion of Canada. It seems like a lot of my games, and this is just how Hoi 4 will work always, but like, it seems like a lot of my games ultimately end up devolving into a horrible, horrible invasion of uh, Canada and or Japan. It's always one of the two, and neither of them are ever fun. It always sucks. Always sucks. Hey, how are the heavy fighters coming along? Well, we got a lot of factories assigned, but not a single one being built, so that extra range we were talking about? Yeah, completely useless. Uh, upgrade for tactical bombers or something else? I don't know. Um, I don't really feel like I need anything else to win the game. It's only 1944, but I'm pretty sure I've got everything I really care about. I guess we could go for some upgrades to some hulls, which would let me get uh, better uh, engines for more evasion, for better naval superiority. Sure. I've never retrofitted a navy before, but I suppose, technically speaking, yeah, I could just... I could just retrofit my entire cruiser navy to actually have um, really fast engines and go from there. That's an option for me, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, how is that supply coming along? Should be done in just a little bit. Peru declares war on Peru. Well, that's fun, ain't it? Uh, we finish another collaboration government. It says we've got that up to another 20%. Plant fault intelligence in these locations, blah, blah, blah. Where is the US? Prepare a collaboration government in the United States of America, if you please. I would really like to make sure that I can have plenty of support over there if I decide to attack the good old US of A. I'm not saying that I'm gonna. I'm just saying I like to have options, okay? I'm one of those keep my options open kind of people. I don't like to commit myself to a single course of action. Who was it? Sun Tzu? There goes Japan. Who said that uh, it is a bad plan that cannot be changed or something along those lines? And I have taken that to heart. Let's conquer all of Japan's territory. All of it is mine. And interestingly, this Treaty of Nagasaki 
it's a totally separate peace deal. So I didn't have to take out the Imperial Federation in order to enjoy this. So that's all of mine now. I wish that I had turned them into a puppet because they probably have a very large navy that would have been nice to have. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Autonomy in the British Isles, new. New, we don't think so. Where is the opportunity to give Japan some independence as a puppet state? Don't know. Let's go ahead and expand out a lot of my local supplies. Can't see that being bad. I'll probably turn these guys into a puppet, at least Japan proper. And maybe I even release Korea as a puppet or something. I don't know, but I don't really feel like I need to take any of their territory, you know what I mean? There was a naval battle up over here. Gasp. How could such a thing be possible? Uh, we no longer need our navies over here at all. So every one of my ships is going to be assigned off in these directions. You guys are going to go on strike force in the Labrador Sea. And with any luck, the Imperial Navy is not going to contest me for very long. We have very little naval dominance in this area, but I don't think it matters too much. Did I manage to build up any air bases? I did. We can get more. Let's do that. We've got the radar. I've got no anti-air. I don't have enough building slots for anything else. I got mostly just planes hanging out here in Greenland defending it. Well, okay, I have to rearrange a lot of stuff. Is what I'm learning. What's going on here in China, by the way? Looks like some social democrats. The Chinese Republic, if I recognize that uh, flag, the Republic of China, is actually making some successful pushes. They might very well be reclaiming the Mandate of Heaven! I could see it happen. That would be kind of exciting for you. Where is Japan? I can't release Japan? Alright, no anime girls for Japan is all I can say. Absolutely none. Why are we still not done in frickin' Africa?! I freaking hate fighting in Africa! It sucks on every possible, gosh dang level, it sucks! And now I got more troops who are being surrounded and murdered. Oh, for God's sake. Go ahead and join some territory up. Get this all back. Oh my God! You all are so unbearably stupid, it hurts my head! 13 troops are assigned right here. 13! Why can't you just move your freaking front line over here? Huh? Why'd you break off this front line? You want to explain that to me? You didn't think a front line was worthy over here? You thought I wanted all the troops sitting here? Morons! Through and through! Ugh. I kid you not, this hurts. It actually hurts my heart. I'm gonna set you guys to be aggressive. I'm gonna set yellow to be aggressive. If you got a front line and you think you can attack them, then do so. Freaking attack them, be done with this nonsense. Why are you letting them march through my territory all wanton like this? This is stupid! Hate Africa. Uh, not as a continent, but as a place to fight, it sucks. I also hate fighting in Norway. Scandinavia is a terrible place. I hate Scandinavia! Except for, you know, the, co the countries there are awesome. Same with Africa, but like, ah! It's one of those no-context quotes right there, you know, that'll get you in a lot of trouble. Hey, uh, Sweden, you know, you like fighting Norway, right? Yeah, you do. Let's go ahead and have you join this war. Or not? Hello? Anyone want to join said war? I need military access or else I won't be able to do the murder of the Norwegians. And I know you like this. I know you want me to do this. Let's go ahead and start researching the nuclear bombs. Is it very far ahead of time? Absolutely, but there we go. I think we're in another situation where these guys are gonna refuse to join. This is exactly the same thing that happened with um, uh, the, the Dutch not too long ago. I couldn't call in the only people I needed in order to actually win this war. For God's sake, I swear. What is going on with this nonsense? All right, well, I'm getting frustrated. I'm gonna end this video here. I need to make dinner anyway. I'm gonna reorganize all my forces in Africa again and finish these guys off. I've just lost troops. I've lost, God. And then I need to get some troops set up over here in Greenland and we're gonna go for the kill and we're gonna finish these guys off and I'm gonna get a collaboration government going on over here with America and I'm gonna beat them up because the Deutsche Reich is going to rule supreme forevermore. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. If so, I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.